Hi guys. Well, I've had a busy day at Mum's, sort of. <laughs> um, when do we actually get there? I think we got at Mum's at about lunchtime. I think. Something no, it was about 11 o'clock, sorry. Yeah, early this morning, because um, she just dropped my little brother off at college and basically did a complete circle, come round here, picked me up. Had a few things to do in town. Well, I saw a few things. Had to go to Lidl. Pick something up from the charity shop that she had um, put away. Picked up some silicon sealant for the bathroom. And that was about it. Um, I bought three mountain bikes back from Mum's that I've had sitting in the garden. Well, two of them I've had sitting there for three weeks, three or four weeks now. No, it's got to be two or three weeks. I think it just feels like it's been longer. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I've got two locked to the, to the air. I'll try again. I've got two locked to the trailer out front with a big ass chain. Not a standard shitty bike lock chain. And, uh... I've got this, um... Active mission here. Which will probably end up as my own bike, if I like how it rides, and how it fit well, how it feels to ride. Uh... Which I want to get done tomorrow afternoon when I get back from a friend's because um, that will then leave all day Wednesday to work on the other two but it's not going to take me all day I know it's not because um, I know the gears need a bit of um, servicing on both rear brake on one needs to be replaced mm. One, because the um, bolt that clamps the brake cable down is just spinning around in the end, so you can't clamp the cable properly. And secondly, it doesn't match the front V-brake either, so I've got um, a pair down in the shed outside that I could swap those with, which I actually think they could actually be an identical match, if not very, very similar. <clears throat> um, so aside from a puncture need needing to be fixed in one and basically a bit of a clean up and a service they don't need a lot it's probably if I do it outside if the weather's fine and holds up I don't mind if it's a bit chilly just as long as it's not pissing it down the rain I might sit outside and do them and that probably take me about an hour tops because uh, I want to get those up for sale um, because technically, as from tomorrow, I can go back to selling as I was, you know, the odd bike here and there. Um, cause we filled the form in a week ago, and my um, advisor sent off via internal mail, which is faster, and, um, saying what I want to do and what not, keeping, so long as I keep below their limits, I'll be fine which as I've said before is 16 hours a week or less than 16 hours a week I should say and uh, less than £104 a week well like I said those two bikes are an hour should only take me about an hour to do maybe an hour and a half tops and that is all I've got to do this week so well below the limit there um, and that's for monetary value, £60 tops. I'm not going to ask any more than 30 for each. Um, I put one gum tree, I'll put them up for £35 or near offer. And I'll take 30 um, But if I put them on eBay, I may start them at 25 each. So either way, I'm going to get no more than 60 quid. So again, 
well below the threshold. <laughs> but um, this one, Active Mission, it's um, got designed by Rally, written on it there. Um, but it's not actually a rally bike because it doesn't have the rally badge on it. It's got the active badge. So I presume the manufacturer of this went to rally, who designed it, and they then built it. <laughs> um, got to put a seven-speed freewheel on there. It's got a six-speed, and that's a seven-speed shifter. Uh, bought this from Biggles. He bought it from the dump for a fiver. Actually, knowing him, he was probably only charged three quid, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> but I bought it for a fiver. He was initially going to fix it all up and sell it, but I don't know why he changed his mind, because there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, apart from some work on the rear end. Changing that freewheel, because I don't think Bill's realised that's only a... Um, that that's a seven-speed, and that's a six-speed wheel, or a six-speed free wheel, I should say, because he swapped the wheel because the original one was buckled. And uh, I want to show you the original derailleur. You'll see why the original wheel was buckled. <laughs> hmm. Even the hanger there is um, twisted. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he gave me that. You know, I can only take a few bits off, like the... Uh, fixing bolt there and a few screws and but uh, pretty much everything else is knackered. I could salvage the um, guide wheels I suppose and those bolts because I don't actually have any of them smooth. But apart from that the rest of it is just junk. But it was nice enough. Well the chain was included but uh, included this as well. A replacement so Literally, I turn this upside down tomorrow afternoon, drop the wheel out, change the free wheel, bolt this on, put the wheel back in, replace the gear cable, because that's far too frayed on the end to reuse it, unfortunately. Um, it's just where it's been flailing around like that with nothing on the end and it's just got frayed. But for the sake of like two pounds, I'll go and get another one and fit it. Um, so I won't be coming back late from my friends, at least. Um, got the MP3 player out, I'm going to check that. Well, I know it turns on, I just want to check that the earphones are still functioning. It's been ages since I've used that. I, li I bought it because at the time, I was doing a six mile ride to Mum's and a six mile ride back. So um, I was using it for that just as a bit of entertainment on the trip and makes the trip less boring um, and usually if I had a good battery, a brand new battery, it would last the um, whole trip there and back but uh, if I didn't I end up having to stop on the side of the road to uh, change the battery anyway I think I'm going to keep this one I think because even though I do like how it looks front disc brake, rear V brake, blah blah blah. It's got the chain guard missing from the crank, but that doesn't always bother me anyway. I've probably got one I can put on there anyway. Actually, I think I have. That's a four bolt one, isn't it? Somewhere, actually, I think it's in just in the top of one of the tubs in the cupboard on the land, and I do have one. So, that should be alright. should be able to swap it. It's going to be a white one, but I don't care what colour it is. Um, slight buckle in the front wheel but I will probably replace that at some point might be too dark by the time I get home tomorrow night to look in the shed downstairs for a replacement pretty certain I do have one um, so no biggles when he had a clean out he did give me a few wheels like that so I'm pretty certain I've got one I want a, a bolt for the seat post clamp I need one of those which I've got I know I've got but apart from that, and then just setting the brakes up to my own taste, and then going for a test ride, that is it. I would um, set the brake levers up to how I like them. I don't know how, I can't, that is just unnatural to me, that just feels horrible. I don't know how people can um, 
Right like that, yeah. Yeah, look at that. I can actually pull it down to the... That needs a lot of adjustment. Um, can I adjust the pad on that? Is it one? Yeah, it is. That's alright then. If it needs adjusting, I'll adjust that. But, uh, oh, it's got a cable adjuster on the caliper itself. That brake cable's looking a bit frayed, but I won't bother with that. It's just a couple of strands flailing around, but I'll replace it when it snaps. I just want to get it up and running, which I want to do tomorrow, so I've got Wednesday to um, concentrate on the two out there that you can't see because it's too dark. <laughs> uh, yeah. It'll be a busy day tomorrow. My friend hasn't replied to me yet because I said I said I don't want to, you know, hang around for more than two hours at least. Actually, it probably won't be. By the time I get there, we've had a cuppa, we've had a chat, you know. She's shown me around the um, car she's got, blah -de blah blah. It'll probably be just about time to uh, pedal on home anyway, because I don't want to really leave in the dark. Because part of the journey is going to be on a very busy main road, so if I can avoid that, I will. <laughs> it's not too bad during the day. Um, I will wear my high visibility coat, um, waterproof coat, because I don't know what the weather's actually supposed to do tomorrow. But, uh, regardless, it will be warm. <sighs> Oh yeah. I'll soon have this back because I've cleaned up in the kitchen. I've cleaned the worktop. So this lock can now be shifted to the kitchen. And that can be the um the worktop not only will double up as a area to um prepare food, it will be a place to work on computers. I've got to find somewhere to stick that. I may take that apart actually. But I don't need it. Yeah, I've got to clean up in here. Do, do, do. So I've got my workspace back at least. And that'll give me my Lego bench back. Um, oh, and I've decided because um, I bought my HP Evo, not my HP, my compact Evo laptop back from Mum's. So I took hers back to hers this morning. She's got hers back. Um, I'm going to use this HP of mine that I did a video on recently. Because I really do like that. I've got to swap the memory with the memory that's in the Evo. Because it's got one gig of memory in it. And put in the HP because that can take one gig tops. Um, and use that on the Lego bench. Because I do like that one. I really do like it. I like it a lot. Might do that tomorrow evening. I'm not going to do it now because it's gone midnight. And I really should be getting my ass to bed because I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. <coughs> Which is my fault because I went to bed late. Oh, right. I don't know why I came in here. Uh, I've got the um, XP gaming machine sitting up the corner ready. I've just got to connect it up. I need to find some kettle leads because I'm running very short now, especially as one decided to fly a fire. And I found out why. It wasn't a um, European grade cable. Because, well, I don't know if it's the same in European, other European countries, but in Britain, the colour wires you're supposed to have is red and green for earth, blue for your neutral, brown for your light. It had none of those colours in it. That was one good hint, it was a cheap knockoff. The other good hint that it was a cheap knockoff is the fact that it had Made in China printed down the cable. Now, I'm not saying everything in China is crap, because it isn't, but... That's weird. That's even weirder. Okay. 
<laughs> Not gonna ask. <laughs> what the hell was I talking about? It's completely gone now, that distracted me outside. Oh no, it's come back on. There's a car on the car park. And I can't see a person, but all I keep seeing is the light of a phone waving around. Oh, it looks like she's looking for so ah I, I see she's dropped something. She's trying to find it with the light of a phone. But yeah, that completely distracted me from what I was um, talking about. Maybe if I go back through here. Maybe <laughs> if I come back in here I might remember. No, nope, completely gone. I do apologise for that. <laughs> completely gone. Um, yeah, I think there's much else I want to talk about now, actually. How long have I been rambling for? 16 minutes. Oh, I'm going to keep it short then. Yes, I've basically updated you on everything. Um, I might actually film the repairs I do on this. Because uh, that would be interesting. Well, I say interesting, it's not really hard jobs to do on here. I haven't got to touch the bottom bracket or anything. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I've got disappeared. So, thanks a lot for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And if you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. It's your choice. It's your opinion. Your opinion matters. You know, whether 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 that opinion is liked or not, it still matters. It's still your opinion. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And uh, we'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.